What's up mga kanay? Sa video ito ay pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano na nga ba mag-add ng payment sa inyong Google AdSense. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito and you're into tutorial and informational videos, please like, share, and subscribe lang kanays. Sobrang ma-appreciate ko yung pag-subscribe ninyo sa ating channel and makasigurado ka na marami pa tayong upcoming videos na gaya nito na aking i-upload this coming days. Going back sa ating topic, for this video, mag-open lamang po kayo ng Google Chrome Browser at itype nyo lang sa search bar ang Google AdSense Login. Tapos ay select nyo lang yung link na initially na nag-appear para madirect kayo sa mismong Google AdSense site. In my case, I've already logged in yung Google account that was linked in my Google AdSense. Kaya once na tinap ko ito, ay automatically nakalogin na ako sa Google AdSense account ko. As you may notice, medyo maliliit yung text since naka-website interface tayo and gamit kasi natin ay mobile phone. Naka-apekto din yung paggamit natin ng screen recording pero no worries in reality sa end nyo ay readable naman siya and pwede nyo rin itong i-zoom in na lang. Mapapansin nyo dito yung red font background that has a message na action required. There's something to check in your AdSense for YouTube Payments account. Then sa right side, I go to Payments. Try natin i-click yung Go to Payments. Sa next page ay may kita ninyo sa top part yung same message na may red background kanina in a closer look since we are directed into the mobile web browser interface with the additional options below related sa pag-add ng payment method. Then there's also a notice here na to receive payouts, please choose a valid payment method. Tapos, scroll down nyo lang, then you also see here your earnings. Naka-indicate din yung info here na makakareceive ka ng payment from YouTube even case yung total threshold mo is at least $100. Then pag in-scroll down mo let you'll see here the option to add your payment method. Let's try to tap on add payment method link. The next page will give you an option for your payment method to be added either via wire transfer details or check details. Let us stop here muna and go back to the main page to see the other option to get into this page. As you can see, nandito na ulit tayo sa main page. Pwede rin ang going way instead na using the go to payments link kanina ay itong hamburger button sa upper left corner ng page ang i-click. Then, under Payments, I select ang Payments Info. You'll see the next page is the same as the landing page after we click the Go to Payments link a while ago. Tapos, I scroll down lang ulit up to the bottom part, then click on Add Payment Method link. Next, I proceed na tayo this time. I-click or i-tap lamang ang Add New Wire Transfer Details. Tapos, enter nyo lang yung mga necessary info here. For Beneficiary ID, it is optional so simply skip na lang ito. You may proceed on entering the name on bank account. If you want, you may also utilize the info button. Yung encircled na may letter I dito sa right side to particularly check the description. So it states here, enter your full name as shown on your bank statements. Tapos enter your bank name. Next ay ang SWIFT BIC or SWIFT code. So check din natin yung info. Nakalagay dito na... A SWIFT BIC, often just called BIC, is an 8 or 11 character identification code for a particular bank. What it looks like 
your bank swift bic may be printed at the top of your bank statements or contact your bank to get their code what it's for banks use swift bic's when they transfer money or send a message to another bank para malaman mo yung swift code ng inyong bank pwede mo ito search sa google however last time meron din akong nakitang info that the SWIFT code might also vary depending on the branch of your bank. So, syempre, I wanted to make sure that I'm entering the info accurately. Kaya, I tried reaching out kay BPI via email. Unfortunately, I didn't receive a reply. Kaya, trinay ko na lang din silang tawagan kaso busy yung hotline. It happened na I'm craving the time sa sandwich ng Subway. Sarap kasi talaga ng sandwiches nila, kanais. So, since malapit lang din naman yung branch ng BPI na nag-issue sa akin ng account ko before, ay pinuntahan ko na lang din ito. So, ito na nga. Nagpunta ako dito sa BPI Fairview Terraces. Pagdating ko ay nagtanong na lang ako sa guard since iniisip ko na may ready info na sila and di ko na kailangan pumasok sa loob at pumila pa. And yun nga, naibigay na agad nila yung info and it has the same code doon sa nasearch ko sa Google which is B-O-P-I-P-H-M-M So at least di ba may assurance na tayo na we got the accurate SWIFT code. Nakwento ko rin kay Kuya Guard na it is for my YouTube channel and it seems na interested din pala siya sa paggawa ng YouTube channel. Then nag siya if may sticker daw ba ako which is actually kakaprint ko pa lang din few days ago. So siya yung isa sa mga una kong nabigyan nito. Shoutout sa iyo Idol Kuya Guard na way magkaroon ka ng successful na YouTube journey in case magpush ka for vlogging. Siyempre, mabilis na commercial muna, kanais. Tumawid ako ng SM Fairview, then nag-subway to satisfy my cravings. Sarap talaga ng mga sub nila dito, kanais. Sulit and healthy pa. Let's go back with the steps. So, we enter nyo lang yung SWIFT code nyo doon sa SWIFT BIC field. Pagkatapos ay enter ang inyong bank account number. So, ito yung account number nyo when you do fan transfer online. Tapos, i-retype nyo lang yung account number here. Next ay yung intermediary bank in which pwede nyo na lang itong skip since optional lamang ito. Then, as you may notice, it is already set as primary method since ito lang din so far yung payment method na na-register ko here. Make sure na accurate lahat ng info na na-enter before saving. Once then, ensure ka na and all goods na lahat ay i-hit mo na ang save button. you see here in the next page sa how you get paid section na successfully added na yung ating payment method. Additionally, ay makakareceive din kayo ng email notification about sa inyong ginawang pag-update ng payment method which also have the payment's profile ID and also another email confirmation mentioning yung Google AdSense for YouTube ID mo with info on how to reach the Google AdSense team for any concerns related to your payment method. So that's it mga anays. We're done with the latest procedures on how to add payment method in Google AdSense account. Maraming salamat sa panood. See you on our next video.